Hey. Ooh. Right, I've been shopping. What do you think? <laughs> Strangely mumsy. OK, good, that's the look I was going for. And I take it you're going to don a, a shirt and a tie, yeah? Do I have to? I'll take that as a rhetorical question. What's that? It's your new suit for today. I'm not wearing that. You're flipping my last. Set me back 200 quid, that suit. Come on, mate, you need to make an effort. Even I'm getting scrubbed up, apparently. Why is he coming? We need to make a good impression, OK? Look like we're a nice, decent family. Oh, yeah, cos your toy boy's really going to impress the judge. That attitude isn't very helpful, is it? I won't be going to court if it weren't for you. Look, we've been through this, OK? I'm doing this for your own good. I'm trying to help you take responsibility. Why should I listen to you? You're always doing dodgy stuff. Yeah, and when I get caught out, I always hold my hands up. By pleading guilty and showing how sorry you are, you'll probably get off with a suspended sentence. And there's just as big a chance I'll still go to prison. No, you can't think like that. He's got a point, though. Burglary and stalking, they're pretty serious crimes. I'm sorry, how is that helping? I'm just trying to be realistic. Look, whatever happens, I've got your back. What use is that to me if I get locked up? Well, you almost definitely will be if you plead not guilty. Why are you being so stubborn? And where are you going? I just need some space. All right, well, don't be long, cos we need to leave by lunchtime. Yeah, I know. <sighs> what do you think? Tie, no tie? Ooh, that shirt's a bit... What? what? You said look my best, so... Babe, best for court, not for a nightclub. You try again. Hey. Uh, have you decided what you're going to plea? Don't matter anymore. What do you mean? I'm not going to court. I can't face it. Not sure that's an option, mate. It is if Mum helps me disappear. What? What, you want to do a runner? I've got no choice. I can't face prison. No, this is crazy. Where would you even go? Ireland, like we said. No, no, uh, no. We weren't thinking straight when we came up with that plan. I was. You can't seriously expect your mum to help smuggle you out of the country, mate. She was the one that got me into this mess in the first place. No, no, you did that when you were stalking Chloe. Are you going to change that shirt? He knows I'm right. I could hide out with one of them cousins you're always banging on about. Babe, don't you think this is a bit of an overreaction? We don't even know yet if you're going to get sent down, and even if you do, if you plead guilty, it'll be a massively reduced sentence. I mean, it's not like you've murdered anyone. Whatever happens, my life around here is over. Everyone looking at me like I'm the village sick. I, I, I can't deal with it. Everybody makes mistakes, OK? We pay for them, we move on. Mum, I'm begging you to help me. I am trying to help you. By you making the right decision. Look, I get that you're scared I, I, and you think your life's over, but honestly, it's only just started. You're just a confused kid, all right? And the courts are going to see that. Everything is going to be fine. Uh, fine? Right, so even my mum's against me. If I get targeted in prison, it's down to you. Well, but now where are you going? Like you even care. Shouldn't you be getting ready for court? What are you doing here? Gran phoned me. She's scared you're going to do a runner. It was her idea. Do you know how pathetic you're being? Leave me alone. You act like it's OK to stalk girls and scare them half to death. As long as you don't have to take responsibility. I've owned up. I said I'm sorry. Then why aren't you acting sorry? I never meant for it to come to this. Well, it has. So just plead guilty and deal with it. Like you did when you got me to cover for you, Danny, and the drugs. Oh, yeah, look where that got me. <sighs> Gran doesn't deserve this. She's the reason I'm being charged. The only thing she is guilty of is loving you and wanting you to be a better person. But obviously she's wasting her time. Yeah, stick the boot in like everyone else. How have you even got like this? You used to be great. Funny, loyal, always looking out for me. I thought we were mates. But then you turned into this weird, pervy creep who only cares about himself. 
It's like I don't even know you anymore. Well, you won't have to for much longer, cos I'm out of here. No, way. if you don't turn up to court, the police will track you down and arrest you. <laughs> They'll have to find me first. Seriously, how thick are you? Of course they're gonna find you. What, are you planning on leaving the country before tea time? You and Chloe planned to run away. Look how that went. That's you sticking your nose oh, in. Oh, good old Noah. Blame everyone but himself. Do you know what? You have all these ideas, but you're too dim to think any of them through. Whatever happens today, you're not going to get sentenced for ages. But fine, if you think your master plan will work. Sarah. <sighs> Please don't tell Mum you've seen me. You're not the victim here, Noah. Stop acting like a wimp and sort yourself out. Because right now, you're just an embarrassment. 